In this video, we will take a look at the straight leg sit-up test for core muscle injuries, often referred to as a sports hernia. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. In a previous video, we discussed the Doha Agreement on groin pain in athletes, which classified groin pain into four entities, adductor-related, iliopsoas-related, inguinal-related, and pubic-related groin pain. Core muscle injuries, or CMIs, also known as athletic pubalgia, which are traditionally known as a sports hernia, would fall within the fourth entity, the pubic-related groin pain. They are characterized by abdominal wall weakening or tearing with no abdominal hernia and concomitant injury to the insertion of the adductor longus muscle and rectus abdominis on the pubis. In 2020, Kurovicki et al. proposed a test to assess for CMIs in their diagnostic cohort study. As a standalone test, the straight leg sit-up test had a sensitivity of 74% and low specificity of 20% and thus has a weak clinical value in the diagnosis of CMIs due to the poor likelihood ratios and should be used in a cluster alongside other tests, which you can watch by a click in the top right corner. To conduct the test, the patient is in supine lying position. The patient is then instructed to lift both the extended legs and shoulders 20 to 25 centimeters or 8 to 10 inches of the examination table. Pubic or groin pain again indicates a positive test. Groin pain requires accurate differential diagnosis as other possible root causes such as femoral acetabular impingement syndrome, referred pain from the lumbar spine or SI joint, share similar symptoms. You can find out more about valid assessments for these regions on our channel as well. Again, special testing has limited value and should be integrated in a consistent history as well as positive diagnostic ultrasound findings in the case of CMIs. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you want, you can check out the other tests for CMI by clicking on the playlist to my left. These tests will make their way into our assessment ebook as well as our assessment app for iOS and Android. For more in-depth lessons on clinical reasoning in musculoskeletal conditions, check out our online courses. Links are in the video description down below. And in case you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.